Hey everyone, it's Brad Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and finally playing catch-up with some Calgary Sports content. One of the things that i done in the past and continue to do is doing draft recap videos. Recently made one on the Calgary Stampeders and what they did in the 2023, both the global and national drafts. Well, now it's time to shift focus to the Calgary Flames, and given that I'm really late on recapping what the Calgary Flames did in the 2022 draft, it's fair I should be fashionably be late too, and pull out the original white pedestal jersey that the Calgary Flames wore in 1995, and the reverse retro actually is inspired by this one, not the red one, as people think online, but getting to the video at end, I'm Paul notes. This video for the 2022 Calgary Flames draft class is going to be more highlighted on the trades that the Calgary Flames made. As they did not have many picks in this draft, many of them were traded away because the Calgary Flames were going all in for the 2021-22 season and many picks were draft traded away and we only had three players that we actually drafted and were later in the draft as well. So touch upon who we drafted and what happened to the picks that we traded away. And you can also say this is also the last draft that general manager Brad Trelevin did as a good Calgary Flames general manager before I get into uh, the 2022 draft and flashback and have an idea who we have any expectations on this draft. If you want to follow along this Calgary Sports fans journey, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I have my other social media links down in the description below. So this video will look at, at the 2022 NHL entry draft from the Calgary Flames perspective. And then in a second video, we'll do the more recent one in 2023. So the 2022 NHL entry draft, it was held in Montreal. And actually, Montreal happened to have the first overall pick in that draft. And the Montreal Canadiens, the bait is still out on this player, given that he was drafted first overall. They drafted left flinger Yaroslav Slavkowski. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Yaroslav Slavkowski. I think that's how exactly you pronounce it. He is a Montreal Canadian. He played at HCTPS Ligia. And he's Slovakian. So that is the draft that will be known for in 2022. Is Yaroslav Slavowski drafted by the Montreal Canadiens. So when it comes to the picks the Calgary Flames actually had in this draft, they only had three picks. They were very quiet in this one as we traded away a lot of picks to pick up assets and we'll go over those picks. But Calgary did not pick in the first round, so they did not have anyone to go up in the podium on national TV and celebrate and have an interview on TSN and Sportsnet, as Calgary did not do anything until the second day. So they had a pick in the second round, 59th overall, so Calgary had 58 picks go by first before they stepped to the podium. And then after the second round, the Calgary Flames did not pick again until the fifth round, this was 155th overall. And then they did not pick again until the 7th round. This was 219th overall. So those are the three picks the Calgary Flames had going into this draft. And keep in mind, the Calgary Flames, I think they finished, if I recall, 6th overall in the National Hockey League that season in 2022 as they won the Pacific Division and hosted the Dallas Stars, and then they lost to the Hampton Oilers in the second round, but had all mice in both series that they played, winning the division, so that means you get the pick later, and then generally if you're going all in, you generally trade away said draft picks. So the first pick the Calgary Flames made was until 59th overall in the second round. We drafted center Toppy Ronnie from Finnan. He's a Finnish. He played hockey at Tapir under 20 
and it's in the under 20 SM Zara League. So I haven't heard much about Toppy Ronnie. I've heard he's kind of he's still been playing in Finland. I heard he played a, at a, for Finland on a junior team, not the World Junior Championships, but uh, I hear he's still kind of struggling making the next step. He did come to North America last summer and this past summer at the development camp, but he wasn't in main camp this past year for training camp or played any preseason games. And as I know, he's still not signed an entry-level deal with the Calgary Flames. So, jury's still out on Toppy Ronnie. And then in the fifth round, there seems to be a little more upside with this player. So in the fifth round, 155th overall, we actually drafted the left winger in Parker Bell. He's played with the Tri-City Americans in the Western Hockey League, and he is a Canadian. And I actually believe, I don't have Cap Friendly out with me, but I believe he actually did sign a contract and show deal with the Calgary Flames. So I'm going to say so far, looking between Toppy Ronnie and Parker Bell, my personal opinion, I think Parker Bell looks like a little more of a prospect. I'm going to say all these players are still going to be at least a few years away before we might see him, at least with the Wranglers, or playing, you know, some preseason games. And then the last pick, the Calgary Flames, 7th round and 219th overall. So, one of the last picks, we drafted another center, this time in Cade Lillard. And he plays for the Winnetchee Wild in the British Columbia Hockey League, and he is an American. So those are the three players the Calgary Flames drafted in the 2022 draft. So the recap, second round, 59th overall. We drafted Finnish center in Toppy Ronnie. He played at Tempura Under-20 in the Under-20 SM Sara League. And then fifth round, 155th overall. The Calgary Flames drafted Canadian left winger Parker Bell. He has played in the Western Hockey League in the with the Tri-City Americans. And then the seventh round, the last pick the Calgary Flames had, 219th overall. We drafted an American center in Cade Litter, and he played with the Wenatchee Wild of the British Columbia Hockey League. So I'm going to say we're still realistically a few years away from knowing if these players will make any impact with the Calgary Flames or at least be an asset that we can trade away down the road if they're not working out or if they get re-entered in the draft because with most players you have two years to sign them or they re-enter the draft so that's also a possibility with some of these players where they become free agents in some cases. I know if you look back on the 2021 draft, well Matthew Coronado who drafted in the first round actually is looking like he is going to be on the team for the 2023-24 season. But there were a few players in the later rounds that actually we did not offer contracts to, so they were no longer with the Calgary Flames. Now, for the second part of this video, which is going to be the more bigger part of the video, all the picks that we traded away. As the Calgary Flames definitely we were going all in, were buyers at the 2022 trade deadline and over the years. So what happened to all those other picks that we had that uh, we didn't have anymore? Well, the first round pick was 26th overall. So yeah, that works out. We were 6th overall in the National Hockey League because now there's 32 picks in a round with 32 teams. Well, the 26th overall pick, we did trade away to the La Montreal Canadiens when we acquired Tyler Toffoli, and I made a video on that. So that pick, who did the Montreal Canadiens use that pick on? Well, they drafted right winger Philip Messer. He is a Slovakian as well. So Montreal like Slovakian players in the first round in the 2022 draft. And he played at HK Poprad at Topas Extra Liga. So that was who we gave up in the Tyler Toffoli trade. And then the second round, 61st overall, this pick we traded away, well, we acquired the pick in the, originally for Sam Bennett. However, then we traded that pick away at the trade deadline in 2022. And I'm going to say that trade 
I'm going to say the target to fully trade, I'm going to say did work out for the Calgary Flames when we had him. He was the leading scorer for the Flames in 22-23. And then we'll touch upon that. Or I should say we did trade away that pick for Igor Sharonkovich. But this pick we traded, we got for Sam Bennett. And then we traded away for Kelly Yarncourt, which I'm going to say Seattle looks better in that trade because of the three picks that they got, even though they don't pan out. They got more value out of it. But the 61st overall pick, the ultimately it went to the Seattle Kraken because of the Kelly Yarncourt trade that we Florida originally had. They drafted Canadian center Daniel Goyette. And he played for the Sudbury Wolves in the Ontario Hockey League. So that was what happened to that second round pick that we got for Sam Bennett. And then we traded away for Kelly Youngkirk. And then in the third round that we traded away, this was 90th overall. If you recall, this trade, we got this pick at the 2021 NHL trade deadline. When we then traded away goalie David Riddick to the Toronto Maple Leafs. And then that pick that we got from the Toronto Maple Leafs was a 2022 second round pick, or third round pick I meant to say. We then traded that to the Chicago Blackhawks to get defenseman Nikita Zadorov. So I'm going to say we did pretty well with that pick so far. So ultimately the Chicago Blackhawks had the 90th overall pick that we originally had, and they drafted an American center in Adrian Thompson as he played for the Lincoln Stars in the United States Hockey League, so time will still tell what would happen to that player. And then actually Calgary had to pick the next pick, third round, 91st overall, and that was when we actually acquired that pick, or actually no, we traded that pick away in 2021 to the then Boston Bruins as we acquired goaltender Dan Ladar for this pick. And then ultimately that pick got traded to uh, Seattle as Boston used that pick to move down as they picked up the 117 to 132 overall pick. I didn't, I didn't look at how those picks panned out. Just a 91st overall pick. So Seattle once again got a pick that originally was the, well this one was originally the Calgary Flames. The other pick at Seattle got Rizzo was the Florida Panthers. As the Seattle Kraken, they drafted an American center in Ben McDonald, and he went to Noble and Green Girl, Green, Green Rush School at the USH High School in Massachusetts. So that's what happened to that pick. Ultimately, it was that pick that we traded away for Dan Bedard. So in the uh, fourth round, this was 123rd overall, the Calgary Flames traded that pick to the Seattle Kraken as the Calgary Flames and Seattle Kraken actually made the first trade in Seattle Kraken history as ultimately that was the trade that we got for for Tyler Pitlick and then ultimately Tyler Pitlick we used in the Tyler to fully trade so ultimately Seattle had that pick and then what happened with that pick is that the Seattle Kraken they drafted Canadian center in Tucker Robinson Tucker Robinson, as he played at the with the Peter Royal Peets in the Ontario Hockey League, so that's who we gave up for Tyler Pitlick that we played 30 games for with the Calgary Flames. That ultimately, we packaged in that trade for Tyler Toffoli, and then the sixth round pick, the Calgary Flames had the 187th overall pick. However, that ultimately got traded in the Sam Bennett trade. So when we trade Sam Bennett, we gave Florida a sixth round pick. And then we got that second round pick plus Emil Hyman. And then Emil Hyman also got packaged in that uh, Tyler Toffoli trade. It's interesting how sometimes these trades work out. But the sixth round pick that the Calgary Flames had that we traded to Florida. But then Florida ultimately traded that pick to the Buffalo Sabres when they got Robert Haig to the Florida Panthers. So ultimately, the Buffalo Sabres, with that pick, they drafted a Swedish centerman in Gustav Carlson. He went to Orville Hockey K G20 Junior National, Junior 20 National. So uh, that's why the Calgary Flames only had three picks as they traded away 
a bunch of picks that they acquired in other trades that they traded those away for assets and sounds like a lot of the assets ultimately goes back to the Tower to Foley trade that we traded away and then ultimately Tower to Foley we traded away in for Igor Sharonkovich. So uh, I'll put this all in the description below on who we drafted and who we traded away. That's just for me to be different in these draft recap videos. And there was no Calgary Hitman and no Calgary Canucks or any other players of interest that played for a Calgary team that got drafted. So that's all I have to recap the 2022 any challenge draft from Calgary Flames and Calgary Sports point of view. So, what do you feel about the 2022 draft for the Calgary Flames? Players that we drafted, the few that we did draft, all the trades that we made that layered a bunch of each other. Ultimately, this was Brad Trelevin's last draft as the Calgary Flames general manager as at the end of the 2022-23 season. Brad Schlevin decided to part ways to the Calgary Flames and then ultimately led to Daryl Sutter being shown the door. I always keep saying that needed to happen for the franchise. So that is my recap for the 2022 NHL Draft. I'll have a video coming for the 2023 NHL Draft where that draft was made by a new general manager and former Calgary Flame player in Craig Conroy. And we'll recap and talk about how I feel about this draft, I feel that uh, we definitely paid the price for trying to go all in in 2022 and try to make a run in the playoffs and didn't get past the others in the second round. And I'm going to say if we get anybody in these, if any of these players that we drafted at least play for the Wranglers, at least do more than a few twirls at development camp in July, I'm going to say it would be a small solace of a victory. So what do you think? Just comment below. So as a close out, I'm going to say if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports fans journey, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, as I mostly do have Calgary Sports content on my channel, but do occasionally sprinkle in some non-sports content to keep things different. And I have my other social media links down in the description below, and of course if you like, subscribe, you'll be notified as soon as I upload anything. And of course, I always appreciate any you know, like, subscribe, and any comments. And let's say comment what do you feel about the 2022 draft in general from a Calgary Flames, Calgary Sports point of view. So as always, go Flames, go. Thanks for watching, and I'll get going and record the 2023 draft recap. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then.